In this video, you'll see how you can query third-party data from AWS Data Exchange with Amazon Athena. You'll learn how you can point to third-party data sets imported via AWS Data Exchange subscriptions to Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3 and run ad hoc queries on the cataloged metadata with Amazon Athena using standard ANSI SQL. To get started, let's review a few prerequisites. This video assumes you've already exported data into an Amazon S3 bucket. We have two AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, roles. The first role grants Amazon Athena full access to Amazon S3, where we've exported the data from AWS Data Exchange. The second IAM role grants Athena read-write privileges to our S3 bucket, so we can query the data directly and store the query results. The role is coded to include the path to the specific bucket we're using. Next, let's go to AWS Data Exchange. We've already subscribed to some third-party data providers. For this example, we'll use this sample data product. Let's see the data we subscribed to. We'll use the ESG GC high-level sample. Let's choose the revision to use. Here we can see the revision overview, which includes the dataset ID and type. Let's close this and view the asset. The data asset is a CSV file. We can see the jobs run by AWS Glue Data Brew to export the asset to our Amazon S3 bucket. Let's go to the AWS Glue console. You can add table definitions to the AWS Glue Data Catalog manually, or you can use a crawler. A crawler connects to the data store and uses built-in or custom classifiers to evaluate the format of the data and infer a schema. The resulting metadata is contained in a database in the Glue Data Catalog. For our purposes, we've already prepared a database in our AWS Glue Data Catalog to represent the subscription data set. Let's view the table. Here we can see metadata, including the name of the database, its classification, and table properties. This link opens the Amazon S3 bucket where the asset is stored. We can follow the storage path until we see the CSV file. From here, we could open and view the file. Let's go back to AWS Glue. The table schema represents all the columns in the dataset CSV file and their data type. If you are interested in learning more about AWS Glue Data Catalog and its components, please refer to the link in the description below this video. Now let's go to Amazon Athena. When using Amazon Athena for the first time, an Amazon S3 bucket must be established as a data source. Let's go to the Query Editor to take a look. We'll go to the Settings tab. In this case, we've already established our Amazon S3 bucket as a data source. We can manage settings for our bucket here or enter the location of a different Amazon S3 bucket. Let's cancel and return to the Editor tab. On the left, we see the data source is our AWS Glue Data Catalog, and three tables are available for querying. Let's expand the table holding our subscription data to see its schema. We can select the vertical ellipsis next to the table name to see our options. Let's preview this table. With this action, Athena has generated and run a query to preview 10 results from the table. Although the dataset is a CSV file, Amazon Athena queries are coded using standard ANSI SQL. Let's run another query, this time to reveal 100 results. Let's view the results. Now let's run a more sophisticated query. This query will count the number of unique countries, sectors, and industries in the dataset and reveal their average ESG and GC scores. Let's run the query. We can see the counts from all records in the dataset. Let's try another query. With this query, we'll search for the distinct industry records represented in the dataset and get their average ESG and GC scores. Let's review the results. The dataset contains 48 unique industries. Let's run one more query. This query is similar to the previous one, but searches for the unique economic sector records within the dataset. Per the results, 18 unique economic sectors are represented in the dataset. You've just seen how you can query third-party data from AWS Data Exchange with Amazon Athena.
You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.